We'll see if some other areas have opened up as well. First things first, though, we need to find this chick. Zara chick. Because if she really is sabotaging a panel here, it could mean terrible things for everybody. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. You'll never take me alive! No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the It was the Raj it. guy. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni-Tool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. All right, so decoy tactic. Real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. They're already watching the security cams. They might already know. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't no. her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. They'd have to be monitoring all of this communication. Anyway, uh, seeing as we're on the arc, let's take a look around. Um, and at least we're going to stop by... <laughs> We're going to stop by Sam real quick, and uh, we're going to um, take a look at our brother. <laughs> oh, Sam node. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's over. All right, let's go to the Sam node first, because I kind of already know that I I access stuff in there that happens after I deal with this. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam. Hello. If I connect you to your implant, the headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Unless yeah, he did it on purpose. You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Don't hide Sam, things. If we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. Especially if you're inside my brain. Father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor <coughs> when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. You can scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Kitty, Super that's my knee. Scares. A computer <laughs> having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. Yeah, but we've seen Spider-Man. We, we know what symbiotes do. I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands i don't follow you're an ai so what's different i am a new form of ai drawing directly from the human experience your implant is my window into the world wow that's pretty amazing but beyond what many people will accept your father knew some would fear it yeah he's got a point so what does this mean for the two of us i find myself in an unusual position Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. True. Also, he placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but if your father had a plan and he wanted you to continue it, how would you actually do it? Of course. The 
further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. It, it's like they knew that he was going to die. So, so therefore... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I can't unlock these until I unlock other stuff. So this is the profiles. Basically, this is how I can uh, change what Ryder can actually do compared to uh, how she actually already is. All right. Profiles. Actually, okay. Journal. Codex. Inventory. Do I have... Oh, I actually have some points, too. That's right, because I leveled up. Let's go tech. Um... I'm actually going to do... Take effect duration. I'm going to do team support. So, shields is good. And then... Let's go biotics. And we're going to... Yeah, we're going to do Shockwave, because I very much like Shockwave. <laughs> uh, and we're going to... Assign the power instead of pull. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to go to combat. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to... see what what's combat tools 2% uh, combat power damage short the grenade fuse timer grenade will explode if held too long place a temporary energy barricade that will boost shield regeneration for everyone who takes cover behind it upgraded versions uh, provide additional combat boosts actually I'm going to do this one purely because it could actually be really helpful in the future once I actually get it uh, more upgraded. Okay, so now I have Explorer profile unlocked and it's at rank one. So that's kind of cool. So I can actually set up a different profile now, I think. All right, so you've got two points. Let's go ahead and give you defensive training and then I think I need, yeah, I need another point for that one, so I can save that. Let's go to Liam, who only has, <coughs> excuse me, one point, and put it in defense. Okay, so now... <coughs> damage resistance and uh, damage bonus. Oh, tech, biotic... Power, restoration, and defense. Evades allow you to quickly traverse a short distance, even seemingly, seemingly passing through solid matter. Very interesting. So, if that's my profile, does that change my uh, equipped things? No. It doesn't. Okay. Well, we're gonna st we're gonna go with uh, the explorer for right now. Then, save the game. Right, so now we can effectively examine all this stuff. A memento of his early alliance service. I bet that's not plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in <laughs> the Normandy. The first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. <laughs> Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger. Related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One okay. of your father's memories is now accessible. 
Return to Samload on the Hyperion to investigate further. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Okay, so... Dave's finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. They certainly got a good voice actor, or, I mean, he's a good professional actor. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. I wish they could have just used his face. <laughs> Dr. Liara to Sony. <laughs> this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had huh. some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Tussoni's research onto data pads. Thanks, Sam. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tussoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and sorry. <laughs> Your work is bunk. And getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am But I need to be here with my shepherd. People could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. Like Shepard. So much good luck and future success. All right. <laughs> Final entry. Here we go. Scouting mission on Habitat Seven. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Doctor Tapero says he'll be fine, but he's my son. He's my son. No, I not worry. I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. <laughs> or ever. So he was a shit dad. The tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Oh, so he was a terrible person, basically. Okay, let's go see what this uh, memory that I unlocked was. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago. Then, then went, went extinct. Because Even of the Reapers. This writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies... I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Cinematic pan. <laughs> Not executed very well, though. When studying a dead race... Oh my god, how much... Problem is the ...printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. All right, Dad's memory. Tell me what it is. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them. You know what he reminds me of out. in that particular form? Okay, something new every day. <laughs> he reminds me of the way that the uh, the uh, like King Toadstool looked in the Super Mario Brothers movie where it's just that ball of fungus hanging down from the ceiling. <laughs> Play the memory. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, It'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. 
find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Who's that? Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's I feel no like your dad's a crackpot. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. And then he gets up and kills them both. Alec? Alec, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on Where the watch. Where the hell is she looking? Oh, she had a sickness and he was like, real. Oh, that's why he wanted to create this whole thing. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available <laughs> in your father's quarters. Oh. They detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Okay. That's all for now. Of course. I don't really want to go after the audio logs just yet. Um... Because if anything, it's going to be exactly what we found out first time. Like, it's just going to be the same stuff, right? When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconception... Your father's personal logs. Yeah, here we go. She's dying. I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Okay, well, that's it. Basically, Sam was supposed to help fix his wife, right? <laughs> and maybe more. And then the dad went crazy. Okay, so now that we have that, we can continue searching around here. <laughs> and seeing what else we can find. We already know that we have to go back to the uh, Nexus to uh, investigate the rest of this um, little mystery. Oh, it's Captain Dunn. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex's quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Already been there. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just <laughs> not so good at working with people. Probably because his mind was half robot. I don't need to difficult. sugarcoat it. He could be a pain in the ass. He and I had our disagreements, that's for sure. Anyway, here's hoping you and I get along better. If there's <laughs> anything else I can help with, let me know. Uh, your role, expectations, join the initiative, that's it for Thanks right for now. Talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good sure luck. thing. All right, so I can't go back up there anymore. 
Uh, so it looks like the only place that I really have access to... is um, the elevator room. <laughs> elevator. <laughs> In order to get back to uh, the cryo lab. Which is where I'm going to go now. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's just my waypoint. Why was it pointing there of all places, though? I thought I'd selected the actual mission. Whatever. <laughs> you don't have to crouch there. <laughs> I'm sure everything is fine. Okay, so that's operations on the Nexus. Let's go to the cryo bay. This is the docking bay. Okay. Cryo bay. <laughs> 